Hi. Today we are going to discuss about the mechanism of vomiting. I will also do a separate video on substances that are affecting vomit and this includes some common medications. First question we need to ask ourselves is what is vomiting? Vomiting is a process of forceful expulsion of the contents of the stomach and sometimes the gut. The contents are also called as vomitus. The medical term for vomiting is called as emesis. The whole mechanism is guided and controlled by the brain and its vomiting center. Let us first talk about the vomiting center. The vomiting center is located in the fourth ventricle of the brain. The chemoreceptor trigger zone which is also known as CTZ is a region on the fourth ventricle's floor. The CTZ is responsible to stimulate the vomiting center. The CTZ has number of different receptors like dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, opioids, and substance P. Each of these receptors activates the pathways that cause nausea and vomiting. When CTZ is stimulated, vomiting occurs. An important point to remember is the CTZ lies outside the blood-brain barrier or the BBB. The BBB regulates chemicals that have an impact on the brain. When the BBB is present, drugs and substances in the blood have selective access to the brain. Since, CTZ lies outside the BBB, drugs and medications are capable of stimulating this area to trigger vomiting. Medications that control or are used to treat vomiting may inhibit this area to prevent vomiting which we will discuss in the upcoming video. Now, let us quickly go through various causes that can stimulate the CTZ and thus induce vomiting. Let us first talk about how motion sickness causes vomit. The cause of vomiting in motion sickness comes from the structure known as labyrinth in the inner ear. In the labyrinth, we have something called as the vestibule. When these vestibule is stimulated, it sends the input through the vestibule cochlear nerve to the vestibular nuclei which is located in the pons of the brainstem. The vestibular nuclei has abundance of H1 type of receptors which get stimulated, and it also sends impulse to the CTZ and the CTZ transmits the message to the vomiting center. Another cause is when the throat or pharynx is irritated or stimulated. These structures send impulse via the vagus nerve to the CTZ, causing vomit. The next cause is when the vagus nerve also carries signals from the enteric nervous system, which surrounds the gastrointestinal tract, to the brain. This system is responsible for the activation of the 5-HT3 receptors, which causes vomiting after radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and gastroenteritis. In cases like stress, dopamine receptors are activated and also lead to vomiting. We now know different causes of vomiting. We will now focus on the mechanism of vomiting. At the onset of vomiting, the glottis is first to be closed. Next, the pyloric part of the stomach contracts and as a result it transfers the contents to the body of stomach. The abdominal muscles contract with simultaneous descent of the diaphragm. These actions of the abdominal muscles and the diaphragm raises the intra-abdominal pressure to such an extent until the gastric contents are squeezed from the stomach into the esophagus. At this moment, a reflex relaxation of the lower sphincter of the esophagus occurs. At the same time, Positive intrapulmonary pressure and antiperistaltic waves in the esophagus help to expel the contents from the esophagus into the mouth. Activation of sympathetic and parasympathetic will lead to symptoms like nausea feeling, salivation, sweating and increased heart rate. These are known as retching which precedes the actual vomiting. In the next upcoming video, I will discuss about common medications that help to relieve vomiting, so be sure to subscribe. These are some questions that can test your remembrance of the topic. Pause this video and try to answer them. That's all regarding the mechanism of vomiting. If you find value in this video, please like, comment, and subscribe as this will motivate me into doing more videos like this. If you have any biology topics that need discussion, send them via the Google form that I have linked below. Thank you and see you in the next video.